There we go. All right. I don't know why my phone wouldn't do it. Probably because I was on the other thing. All right. So, hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. So, we're getting started now. Now, I had to use my husband's phone instead of mine. My iPad is not working. It's all charging. Nightmare. <laughs> And then my phone would not click in. But now that I'm on my husband's, thank God for your husband, <laughs> I'm able to uh, 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 get on Facebook Live. Wasn't able to do it over my phone. Amen. So, hello, everyone. Hello. Good morning, Miss Sharon. Good morning. Good morning to Sharon. Sharon Slater, Sharon Galloway. Good morning, ladies. So happy to see y'all. Harry Frazier. Look like Harry Frazier is joining in. Sister Willie. Hey there. Hey there. Hey, Theo. What's up? Pastor Theo. Y'all, ain't that something? <laughs> ain't God good. I tell you. Uh, uh, Joyce, good to see you, babe. Good to be seen by you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. How you doing, Marie? And so we are, Deborah, good morning. So we are, um, we're on Facebook Live now, and we're going to be concluding our series that we have. Let me go get that book. All right. We're going to be concluding our series that we did on the secret to powerful prayer. The secret to powerful prayer. We're going to be concluding our series. And so we found out on uh, uh, our journey through this book, The Secret of Powerful Prayer by Lynn Hammond, we found out so many different uh, types of prayer. And, and uh, 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 it, it has been really, really a blessing from uh, a fervent prayer to first us casting our cares, consecration, prayer of consecration, prayer of unity, prayer of praise, worship, and thanksgiving, prayer of faith, prayer of agreement, prayer of supplication, prayer of intercession. And we're going to end it with the watchman. We're going to end it with the watchman. I happen to have a, a, a message that I did on watchman. It's one of my favorite messages that I minister. And uh, Lynn was talking in the book about being a watchman. And I said, wow, this is perfect for me to minister this message about the watchman. How many watchmen we got out there? How many of you are watchmen? You might say, well, what is that? How many of you are watchmen? Well, we're going to clarify what we're talking about here. And I believe that you all will be blessed. Now, uh, uh, watching, she was talking about watching in the book. Watching is the first step in a spirit-led prayer. Watching is the first step in a spirit-led prayer. You see, you're you're tuning into the to the Holy Spirit and uh purpose purposefully purposely searching for his promptings in your prayer. Oh, see you can't prayer is 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 eternal this is it's an eternal tool it's a powerful tool and it's important that we be spirit led in our prayers uh as we uh are prompted by the holy spirit you might, uh, and and praying for things that we don't know really know about uh the spirit of god might bring uh someone up in your heart that you wasn't even thinking about, but they keep it, it. They keep it. The Lord keeps bringing that person up in your heart and you begin to pray for that person and pray for that individual and come to find out that that might have been just at the time that that person was about to uh, get in trouble or something bad was about to happen to them. And your prayers averted that situation. We need to be watchers. We need to be watchers praying, having spirit led prayers prompted by the Holy Spirit, uh, able to, uh, um, able to, uh, 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 ambush Satan's ambush. <laughs> Woo! I'm telling you what, 
being a spirit, being a watcher, having being a watchman makes us uh, uh, real dangerous to Satan's kingdom. Now, let's read uh, Mark chapter 13, uh, verses 33 and 37. Mark chapter 13, verses 33 and 37. Now, let me just stop right here. I'm going to ask you to all do something for me real quick. I need for you all on Facebook to share this post. Share this post so that more people can get in and more people can learn about how to be watchmen. Don't you think that's important? We need to be more powerful and more precise in our prayers. So share this post, tag some friends, invite some people to join in. I believe that they will be blessed. Mark chapter 13 and verse 33 in the King James Version says, Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. <laughs> ah, woo, I like that last part. He said, what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. So he's telling us we all should be watchmen. We all should be watching and praying. We all should be a part of this. We all should have spirit-led uh, prayers prompted by the Holy Spirit. God has given us an inside track. Don't you know that God is not going to allow something to go down in this world without letting us know and without getting us on the inside of it, able to pray it and change it and put his will into the, into the, uh, uh, into the earth. And so it's important that we all participate in watching. You all are watchmen. If you're born again believer, and if you're spirit led, then you are qualified to be a watchman. Now look at Isaiah 62 verses six and seven. And it says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. <laughs> he said, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Let me tell you something. Let me stop right there. God set you there. <laughs> God gave you the grandstand seat. God put you on the wall. God gave you the opportunity to have the inside track. <laughs> Glory to God. I have set watchmen upon the wall of Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. I like that. They'll never hold their peace day nor night. That means I'm going to call out all the time. <laughs> Glory to God. Yet ye that uh, make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. I like that. You know what? Let me just stop right here. There is no such thing as winning the battle with your mouth closed. You, you, you ain't going to win the battle with your mouth closed. You got to open your mouth. It was David, when David went against Goliath, David had that slingshot in his hand and that smooth stone in his hand, and he was talking the talk. While he was throwing the stone. Yes, ma'am. And so let me tell you something. If you're going to be a watchman, if you're going to uh, 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 participate in this warfare, if you're going to uh, 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 be able to be effective in this, you got to open your mouth. You can't keep silent. Let the devil whooping your family, whooping you upside the head, whooping the nation upside the head. We got to open our mouths. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent and give him no rest. Talking about the Lord, giving the Lord no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. <laughs> Glory to God. Let's see. Let's, let's read this from the Amplified Classic Edition. It says, I have set watchmen upon the wall of Jerusalem who will never hold their peace day nor night, who you who are his servants and by your prayers, put the Lord in remembrance, put the Lord in remembrance. The Lord wants us to cry out his word. He wants us to put him in remembrance. It's not like the Lord forgets, but see, when you open your mouth and you're speaking the word, you're causing things to change in spirit. You're rearranging things in the spirit. You're speaking God's will into the earth. You got to open your mouth in prayer. He said, and put him in remembrance of his promises. Keep not silent and give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem and makes her a praise in the earth. Glory to God. Let's look at the message translation. Message translation says, I have posted watchmen on the walls, Jerusalem, day and night. They keep at it, praying, calling out, 
reminded God to remember. They are to give him no peace until he does what he said, until he makes Jerusalem famous as a city of praise. Glory to God. And so uh, I, I, I got a question for you before I continue on. Are you crying out to God? God's promises over yourself, over your family, over this nation. Are you a watchman who will not sleep day or night? In other words, you won't rest from it. You won't take a break from doing this. You're going to keep on going until you see change come. That's what we need today. You can't let legislate this kind of stuff. You need Holy Ghost change. You need God's will to be uh, spoken out by his people in the earth. We ain't talking about no politics and all that. That ain't going to change nothing. God is the one who brings about real change. Isaiah 50. Uh, 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 let me let me just read this. In ancient times, now let's, let's talk about the watchmen, okay? In ancient times, cities had brick had had thick brick walls around them to protect the city from their enemies. Okay, so you got these ancient cities and they had thick walls around them protect, to protect the city from their enemies. On the walls would be watchmen. <laughs> now on the walls stood watchmen. Their job was to warn of any approaching danger. <laughs> oh my God. I want y'all to look now, open your hearts. I want you to look at this in the natural because the natural is a reflection of the spirit. Now I want you to look at it and see it in your eye of faith, what this is. On the walls would be watchmen. Their job would be to warn any of any approaching danger. Now watch in the Hebrew means to lean forward, to peer into the distance. It implies to observe, behold, spy out, wait, keep the watch. Again, it says to lean, uh, he, to watch means to lean forward, to peer. Now, if you're leaning forward, you're doing that on purpose. That's not a normal position. You're, you're, you're purposely tuning in. See, a watchman has to purposely tune in. He has to purposely be alert and aware. We got too many sleeping saints, y'all. We got too many people sleeping on the job. We got too many people that are unaware of what's going on here, what's really going on. To lean forward, to peer into the distance. It implies to observe, behold, spy out, wait, keep the watch. Now, watchmen would peer forward, looking out into the distance on the watch of on the watch for messengers. So the, this is what the watchman is doing. He was looking forward. He was purely into the distance and he was watching out for messengers, unusual or unusual activity, or most importantly, any sign of the enemy or approaching army. Mm. So he was looking for messengers. He was looking for unusual activity. He was, he was mostly looking for the enemy and, and, and approaching army. There's too many of us nowadays that are being sideswiped, that are being uh, 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 shocked. God said, you won't be shocked if you're a watchman. You're going to know exactly what's coming because he won't let you get sideswiped. When a, look, what, listen at this. Now, when a, a fiery uh, 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 arrow was shot into the wall, it was the watchman's job to douse it out with water. Oh, don't they say that the word of God is the washing of the water by the word? He said that, 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 uh, that the watchman would put out the fiery dart with water. How many of y'all are putting out those fiery dots that are, are being shot at your family, your loved ones, shot at you with the word of God? See, the watchman is the one that puts out the fire. <laughs> When the, uh, 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 and then the watchman would also let them know when to open the gate up because the, their army is coming back with the spoils, the bounty, the blessings from their conquering victories. The watchman would let them know, open the gates. How many of y'all still got the gate open, the gate closed? And God is trying to bring in the spoils to you. He's trying to bring in the bounty to you. But you're so scared, you still got the gate closed. Oh, watchman knows when to open the gate. 
<laughs> and let the blessings come in. Good God. Uh, see how important it is for the watchman. See how important it is for the watchman to be over your life. The watchman to be over your family. The watchman to be over your neighborhood, over the nation, over this world. Watchman. See, the watchman has the vantage point. Ah, the watchman has the vantage point. He's up high uh, uh, looking down at what is going on. He can see from distance. He can see far and wide. Uh, see, the watchman, the, when the Lord, the Lord puts us as watchmen. And when we go into prayer and that we're up on the wall in prayer, in the spirit, we have the vantage point. Define, and I'm defined vantage is, is the upper hand. A position that affords a favorable overall view of a scene or situation. <laughs> the up, it, has, it's, it's, it has the upper hand. We have the upper hand when we're at the vantage point as watchmen. We are in a position that affords a favorable overview of a scene or situation. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this here. I, I got so much to say. What time is it? Good God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm, I'm gonna take my time with this. This is gonna be two parts, okay? <laughs> so they can see the enemy coming from far away. As a watchman, you can see the enemy coming from far away. If uh, have you ever been a watchman over your children? You, you might understand what I'm saying. You can see the enemy coming from far away. You can see. That the enemy is trying to coax your child into this or, or trying to lure them into that or that friend just ain't the right person. You can see uh, because you're at an advantage point. Your prayers have made you alert and keen to what's going on. Don't, 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 don't override that. They can see the enemy coming from far away. If you are not doing your job, many lives will be lost. And many lives have been lost. Because we have not been doing our job the way we should. See, this is important. This uh, uh, Being a good watchman could be a life or death situation. I remember watching the movie Saving Private Ryan. Outstanding movie, if you haven't seen it. Outstanding. And the, the, uh, uh, they would have uh, uh, in the towers uh, of different places, they would put a sniper and you could not infiltrate that area until you took out the sniper. Because as soon as you peek your head up, he, he, he taking you out. The sniper in that big tower up high had the vantage point. He could see all around which way you're going. And he put that, 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 uh, that, uh, that uh, uh, scope on you and then stoop. Stoop. So you couldn't. Let me say that again. You could not infiltrate the area until you took out the sniper on the wall or in the tower. Don't you understand how important that is? Satan wants to come in. He wants to destroy you. He wants to destroy your life and destroy your family and destroy this nation. However, we got watchmen on the wall. We got watchmen in the tower. And he cannot infiltrate our churches, our families, our homes, our lives, our businesses, our, our, uh, because we have the vantage point. And as soon as he pop his head up, stoop, we take him downtown with the word of God. Come on now. Come on now. This is why the enemy is after your prayer life. Because your prayer life sets you up on the tower. Your prayer life's give, life gives you the vantage point. Your prayer white life puts you as a watchman on the wall. And <laughs> you're ambushing Satan's ambush. Now, my question to y'all this morning is, do we have any watchmen here today? How many watchmen we got here today? Do we, do we got any watchmen here today? Are you a watchman in the name of Jesus? Oh. Let me let me read something to you in Isaiah 56 verses 10 through 12 in the King James Version. It says his watchmen. Now it's talking about a, 
a watchman that ain't good. <laughs> like my husband said, you, oftentimes in order to to know what something is good, you got to find out what is not good because <laughs> it's the opposite of it. All right. Okay. And so, and so look in Isaiah 56 verses 10 through 12, it says his watchmen are blind. They are ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yay. They are greedy dogs, which could never have enough. They are shepherds that cannot understand. They are, uh, they all look to their own way. Everyone for his own gain from his quarter. Come ye, say, say they, I will fetch wine and, we'll, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink. And tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. And so here we find what uh, what these watchmen that they uh they was in bad shape. Can we say that we 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 see some watchmen like that now? Huh? He said first of all that they're blind. They can't see the enemy coming. They're blind. <clears throat> what are some things that <clears throat> blind us? Some things that blind us. Some things that blind us is uh 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 uh, of distractions. We're distracted with the things of this world. We're out doing our own thing instead of what God wants. It, it's blinding. It, 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 it causes us not to be able to see clearly with our own opinions and our own thoughts instead of what God do you think, Lord. It's blinding. Our hate for, for one another, not loving the brethren. Hating one another is blinding. Uh, loving money more than God is blinding. Uh, now, what are some blinding things that get us not to see what God is doing? Because, see, if you're not going to be blind in the spirit, you have to be totally yielded to him. It's not my will, but your will. Not my thoughts, Lord, but let my thoughts be your thoughts, Lord. Not what I think, but what do you think? Uh, uh, see, uh, uh, being able to see clearly is a humble state. Mm -hmm. It's love. love. Love heightens our sensitivity. Love causes us to see more. Love causes us to hear more. Love amplifies us spiritually. Oh, how's your love walk? Because if it's not good, you are blind. It says they are ignorant, ignorant. Oh my God. I, I know y'all won't be ignorant. The, the, the ignorant, yeah, ignorant. No, no not y'all, not y'all, but some people are, but not you all. You're not ignorant. Ignorant means lack knowledge. Now, Hebrew for knowledge is yada, to know, to see, to perceive, to discern, to distinguish. You can't perceive what is going on, can't understand the will of God it, when, you're, when you're ignorant. You, you can't discern how when trouble is coming or brewing on the horizon, can't distinguish between good and evil, right and wrong. Let me tell you something. There is absolute good. There is absolute right. All this here gray area. The Lord said, I ain't into no gray area. You can't distinguish between good and evil, right and wrong. The watchman is at a vantage point where he can see what is going on around the city and can see the enemy coming from far off. Prayer, prayer puts us on a, in, a, in, a, in a position as watchmen where we can see the enemy way before he gets to our lives, to our home, families, finances, health, city, and nation. The Holy Spirit will show us things to come. He shows us how to ambush Satan's ambush. And so in John chapter 16 and verse 13, it says, How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide us into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show us things to come. And he will show us things 
to come. And so here we find uh, that uh, 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 a person that is not a good watchman is blind. They're ignorant. They're mute. They, 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 they won't cry out when danger is coming to warn people, to warn others. <laughs> there should be a cry coming out of our mouths to the people that God loves them. That sin will destroy you. That God has a better way. The watchman is, 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 who is not good is mute. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, uh, it says here, because uh, uh, it says, uh, where did you get that from? Verse 10 again, it says, they are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. You got to open your mouth if you're a watchman. <laughs> you got to say something. And then it says here, sleeping, laying, lying down, loving to slumber. And so we find a watchman is lazy. They're sleeping. I remember my husband said, uh, he, uh, prophetically out of his mouth when we was in prayer uh, some years back, he said, don't be a lover of sleep. Don't be a lover of sleep. Oftentimes the Lord wakes us up early in the morning and he wants us to get uh, 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 a leg up on things to, 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 I like what, oh, uh, 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 one of our uh, members said, uh, she said that she gets up early in the morning because, and, and prays in the spirit because things are just so much more clear. It's, it's before all the activity gets started. Oh my, there's something about getting up early. You, you find in the Psalms where he says, Early will I seek thee. Psalms uh, 63. Early will I seek thee. And so we find that there's something about getting up early. Our Lord has been waking me up uh, consistently around three in the morning. And I just pray in the spirit until I fall back to sleep. I don't know why, but he's, he, he, there's something that he's telling me that I need to pray for. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Some folks sleep sleep right past life. You got to get up. You got to be aware. It says also, yea, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough. Greed will cause you not to be a good watchman. Greedy, never having enough. Selfish, just looking out for yourself. Stingy and greedy. That's what my husband said. One thing you don't want to be is stingy and greedy. That's a lethal combination. <laughs> Always thinking about yourself. What about me? What about me? Always trying to get stuff for yourself. Mine, me, mine. Uh, uh, look, 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 look. I don't care about what happened to them. Uh, I just want my people to be right. My Well, that's not good enough. It's not good enough. A watchman, <coughs> a good watchman is concerned not just for themselves, but for others. As a matter of fact, a good watchman will lay down their life for the brother. In other words, I'll, put, I'll block the way of the enemy from coming to get to you. Whoa, that's a good watchman. That's what love will do. See, see what I'm saying? I will block the way. I will get in the way. I, I don't care what they throw at me. I don't care what they say about me. I don't care how many times they shoot at me. But guess what? They're not going to get to you. Because I'm not going to let them. That's a good watchman. How many good watchmen we got out there? You can't be selfish. And be a good watchman, always thinking about yourself, always trying to get something for yourself. Man, I just want to see you blessed. I'm blessed seeing you blessed. I'm blessed seeing you prosper. I'm blessed seeing you. I ain't got to worry about me. God's got me. But he got me up on this wall watching over you. And I dag nabbit, I am not. I will not. Let the enemy get to you. Lord knows I won't. No, sir, I won't. I ain't going to be quiet. I ain't going to run. I'm not going to be ignorant. I ain't going to be greedy. And guess what it says here? 
that a good watchman is not inebriated. In other words, drunk with wine and liquor and drugs. You see, wine, liquor, and drugs not dull the senses. It gives you a false sense of security. Ah, uh, so a watchman don't drink. <laughs> a watchman ain't on no dope. <laughs> Because, see, that will dull your senses. And while you sitting up there drunk, while you sitting up there inebriated, while you sitting up there high, Satan coming in and tearing the joint up. You got to stay alert, man. You can't be up on the wall drunk. You can't be up on the wall inebriated. Whoo! My, 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 my. Uh, I'm telling you what. Now, I got, I, I, I don't have time. To get to part two. But baby. You want to watch. Next week. When we talk about Nehemiah. And the wall. Nehemiah and the wall. And when we talk about Nehemiah. My husband is so funny. He coming in here with. <laughs> when I be preaching good. He got something to say too. He be coming in here with notes and everything. He said yeah you can. He said one thing you can be drunk is spiritually, drunk spiritually, but not naturally. Uh-huh, uh-huh, drunk spiritually, uh, skunk drunk in the Holy Ghost. However, when you drunk in the Holy Ghost, you still got your eyes open. You still alert and aware. Uh, mm -hmm. It reminds me of, uh, what was it, Gideon. When Gideon was about to go to war, he had to uh, 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 narrow down uh, the, the, uh, the troops. The Lord said, that's too many folks. And he said, when you go to, to drink, when you take them to the water, I'm going to show you who you need to take with you. And so those who just went into the water and just started drinking, wasn't looking around, they weren't the ones. But the ones who put the water in their hand and was lapping it and still alert and aware of what's going on, those are the ones you take. What does that mean? When you're, when God, when you're being blessed, don't just close your eyes. Keep alert. You some folks get blessed and they just turn out on it, just, just toe up because that's when the enemy is going to come and get you because you're not alert. When you get blessed, get blessed and stay alert to what's going on around you because the enemy will try to come in right then when the blessings come. Mm -hmm. And so, and so we find that uh, uh, the watchman <laughs> is an important place for us to be. Now, because of time, for sake of time, I'm not able to go into Nehemiah, but next week I will. And I'm telling you, you don't want to miss this. Nehemiah tells us, shows us exactly what a good watchman is and how a good watchman is to act. And so join me next week for that in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you all are seeing the importance of you being a watchman on the wall, on the wall for your family, on the wall for your life. First of all, <laughs> what time is it? Oh my God, so much to say, so little time. <laughs> first of all, you got to be a watchman over your life first before you can watch over anything else. You got to watch over your life. What 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 are you doing? Are you living circum uh, living holy before God? Are you are you uh, uh, praying in the Holy Spirit? Are you uh, 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 like I said, not greedy and ignorant and 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 sleep? Watch over yourself. Get up, man. Get up. My God, don't you see the vantage point that you have? Satan ain't going to get none of ours because we are watchmen on the wall and the Holy Spirit gives us the inside track. He'll show us things to come, which means we'll ambush Satan's ambush every time. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that we are watchmen. We're watchmen on the wall. <laughs> Glory to God. And we are sniping down all the, the, as soon as that the enemy opens his head and rears his head up, shh, we take him out with the word of God. Shh, we take him out with the word of God. We thank you, Father. We're dousing out all those fiery darts that Satan uh, 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 shoots against us, against our family, against this nation, against our church. 
with the word of God. We are learning aware. We're up and praying. Sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for making us watchmen on the wall. And we will continue to do a great job. Thank you for it, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, if you uh, uh, would like to listen to this again, just dial 605-313-5089. 605-313-5089. That's our conference call number, and you can just listen to it and download it on your phone or whatever and listen to it. It's uh, reference number 400. But if you want to see it again on Facebook, of course, come to Facebook and take a look. See, take a look and see <laughs> what God is doing here in the name of Jesus at New Beginnings on Fresh Manor. We pray that you go ahead and share this, tag some friends, and in the name of Jesus. And just as a side thought, but which really is not side thought. We want to thank you all again, my husband and I. Mama Wright went on to be with the Lord, and we celebrated her life and her legacy on this past uh, Saturday. And God just blessed. He blessed beautifully for a beautiful saint of God. You talking about left with a war shoes on, baby. <laughs> you talking about a watchman. <laughs> I'm telling you, she was a premier watchman. <laughs> she like she was a a, a watchman, a a a a, 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 a supervisor watchman, <laughs> supervising all of us and make sure we watchmen. I'm telling you, oh my God, <laughs> yes indeed. And I'm telling you, the fruit of her labor is crystal clear. Her family is beautiful. My husband. Uh, uh, their sib her their her his siblings uh, uh so many aunts and she was on and, and and to so many and and oh it's just fruit 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 friends and just beautiful and we want to thank you for all the the love that you all showed towards our family the gifts the, the flowers the 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 text the cards the i mean just on and on and on you all are just absolutely wonderful thank you so much and um uh, uh we just want you to know that we love you so have a wonderful and blessed day and remember you are the watchman on the wall <laughs>